This is the Boker Albatross. I've had it for two weeks and I've used it in the field. Let me just start off with the good points about this knife. The first thing that you notice about this knife is that it's very, very sturdy and substantial. That at least is how it looks. The scales are full titanium. I know that a lot of people tend to get uh, very excited about titanium. But I think it is important to emphasize that the quality of the titanium that is used for this knife is perhaps the lowest grade, which means that the purity is questionable. Nonetheless, it is titanium and it is very, very substantial. You get uh, slabs of titanium and this sandwiches the blade itself, which is also very substantial. The blade thickness is 3.7 mm and it's uh, VG10, VG10 steel. VG10 is a Japanese steel that has corrosion resistance and is able to hold its edge very well. Now in terms of fuel craft, it is perhaps the, the best material to have because the last thing you want to do is keep sharpening your, your knife when you're out in the field. The other thing that I like about this knife is that there are no inner liners. That means that the lock itself is uh, part of the scale and this minimizes unnecessary components. A hallmark of a quality foldable knife. This is the way in which you design a high quality foldable knife. The blade itself is rather rather strange because you have a very large belly. You can see the belly is very pronounced and then it's very thick. And so I tend to use this uh, knife for boning and stripping down animals that I hunt in the field. What I like about this knife is that you can actually, the, the spine is so broad that you can actually put your thumb like so and you can bring it down. If you're in the field and you need added control, that is also an important feature because you can actually do this, which you can never do with a knife with a thin spine. There's no jimping and uh, that's not an issue with me. And that is the, uh, the good aspect about this knife. Now let me now go into the bad aspects of this knife. The first thing about this knife is the quality is horrendous. The knife that I got has significant blade play. It is uh, pronounced enough for me to believe that uh, I'm not able to rely on it. And the only way to actually augment the problem or minimize it because you can never eliminate blade play is by tightening the pivot screw. And that's why when I close this knife or I open it, I need to do it with two hands because uh, I can't open this knife by just flicking it open with one hand. And this is a problem which I find quite disturbing, especially when one considers that Boker is such a reputable brand. And it's not the first time that I've been disappointed by Boker Plus products. I don't understand. I don't understand what the plus stands for, unless uh, you're telling me it's grief. Uh, so this is probably going to be the last knife I'm going to ever buy from Boker again. And the reason is because I just can't take their zero quality control. To me, it's just a very sloppy way of, uh, of running a firm. Now, a lot of people have said that the quality issues arise because this product is manufactured in China, but I don't buy into that problem. And I don't buy into that explanation because uh, even Apple products are manufactured in 
China. So I suspect it's more to do with the, the management philosophy of Boca and how they manage their vendors. But nonetheless, this is a very good knife. It's very well designed. And it's just a pity that uh, the quality is an issue. The Boca Plus. Albatross.